Hi, I'm Drake, and we're back with our next video. In this video, we're going to be talking about patching. Now, patching might sound scary, but it's actually not, and it's really easy to do. So, with patching, we have to know a little bit of information. Every lighting console is made up of universes. Now, one universe can hold 512 channels. Now, you might be thinking, what do those channels do? So, each type of fixture, whether you have an intelligent or conventional fixture, take up X amount of channels. So if you have a conventional fixture that all it does is get brighter and dimmer, that's one channel. It's doing one function. Today, we have a LED par here, which takes up seven channels. Now those seven channels could be brightness, red color, green color, blue color, and also add a strobe or chase, some macros built in, things like that. So every type of fixture takes up a different amount of channels. Luckily, lighting softwares like this one have a whole library of fixtures for you to choose from. So you're not having to make all this stuff from scratch. So let's dive in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so first on our home screen here, we're gonna go up to the Onyx tab. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna go to patch. So here's our patch. And now you can see we have nothing patched because this is a brand new show. We're gonna go down here to commands and we're gonna go new fixture. So we're gonna add a fixture. Today for our example, we have a Chauvet Slimpar Tri-7. This is our demo fixture. So we're going to go over here to the ABC. We're going to click on it until we get to C. We're going to find Chevet right there. We're going to click on that. So this is a Slimpar. So we're going to go down here to S uh, and we're going to click on it once. And there's a lot of fixtures that Chevet makes. So we've got to find ours Tri-7 IRC right there. We are in seven channel mode on the fixture. You can always change the channel mode. Um, if it's if available on the back of the fixture, we're in seven channel mode, so we're gonna make sure that that's selected and we're gonna click this auto patch button. This brings up a whole new field. So here we can name our fixture. So we're gonna name it LED par. Um, the amount, so this is if you have one, two, three, up to you know 10 fixtures or more, you can add the amount here. So we can add, so for our example, we're actually gonna patch eight. I only have one demo, but we're gonna patch eight and you'll see why in a little bit. And next is our start ID. So this is when you get into the programmer, how you tell the fixtures apart. Um, because this is our first group of fixtures, we're gonna start with one. Um, if you turn the auto off, you can change it to anything you want, but we're gonna keep it on for now. Universe. So this console that we have only allows for that one universe. But if you had multiple universes, you could change it to patch these into whatever universe you want to. I'm going to leave auto on. The address. So this is the starting address. So this is how you tell the console and the lighting software what fixtures you're talking to. So on the back of this fixture, because this is our first fixture, the address is set to one. So we're going to leave our address at one. If this was the 10th fixture down, it would be like channel 70. We'd have to set 70 on the back of this fixture and we'd have to change the address to 70 on here to allow them to talk. Um, and this is the footprint. So this is telling us that it's taking up those seven channels right there. Over on this side, you see this is the whole universe. So you can see down here, here's 500, here's one. This is showing you that nothing is patched. They're all black and open. If I click on one, which is where we want to start it, it shows you that now we are patching these eight fixtures and it's going all the way to channel 56 because it's seven channels per fixture. If I added more, it'll keep filling up with all the fixtures that I'm adding. We're going to back it back down to eight. So now you can see that's there. So now we're going to click apply to patch down here. It's going to do its thing. And now we have our eight fixtures patched starting with ID one, going to eight, one through eight. So now we're gonna go back out of here and we're gonna pull this guy up right here. And this, if we type one through eight, that is using the numbers that we just assigned to the fixtures in our patch and click enter. Now, as you can see down here, our fixtures have populated with what we can change. So for example, we can change the intensity. We'll go to 50% by clicking the center. And now our fixture has turned on. Um, we can go to full, we can go to zero. 
So that was a basic overview of how to patch a fixture in Martin and Onyx. If you want to get more in detail, make sure to check out our other videos.